Hello and welcome everyone to this video on MLOps Roadmap 2024 by IntelliPad. Data science has evolved a lot over the years and the dynamics of job description have changed significantly. And if I talk about it now, most data scientist jobs include MLOps as an important criteria. There are operation related jobs as well, but with the DevOps adoption, people who develop the ML algorithms must know the operation task as well. Hence, with this video, we will help you understand what exactly MLOps is. Then we will address the use of MLOps. We will talk about the operation jobs known as MLOps engineer, what skills you need to become one and the detailed roadmap to learn MLOps. But before we dive into our agenda, make sure to subscribe to our IntelliPet YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to never miss any updates from us. All right, guys. Let's begin this tutorial by understanding what MLOps actually is. So MLOps basically stands for machine learning operations and it serves as a core function of machine learning engineering with a primary focus on streamlining the process of deploying machine learning models into production and subsequently maintaining and monitoring them. So MLOps is a collaborative effort typically involves data scientists, DevOps engineers and IT professionals. Now let's move on and let us see the use of MLOps. So MLOps is a valuable approach for creating and ensuring the quality of machine learning and AI solutions. By adopting an MLOps approach, data scientists and machine learning engineers can collaborate and enhance the speed of model development and production. So this is achieved by implementing continuous integration and deployment that is CI-CD practices coupled with some proper monitoring, validation and governance of ML models. Now let us look into the main component of this MLOps. So first it starts with EDA or exploratory data analysis. Here we iteratively explore, share and prepare data for the machine learning lifecycle by creating reproducible, editable and shareable data sets, tables and visualizations. Second, it moves to the data preparation and feature engineering. Here, we iteratively transform, aggregate and deduplicate data to create refined features and most importantly, make the features visible and shareable across data terms leveraging a feature store. Third, model training and model tuning. We use popular open source libraries such as scikit-learn and hyperop to train and improve model performance and as a simple alternative, we can use an automated machine learning tool such as AutoML to automatically perform trial runs and create reviewable and deployable codes. Fourth is model review and governance. So here we track model lineage, model versions and manage model share and collaborate across ML models with the help of an open source MLOps platform such as MLflow. Fifth, model inference and serving. We have to manage the frequency of model refresh, inference request times and similar production specifics in testing and QA. We use CI-CD tools such as repos and orchestrators to automate the pre-production pipeline. Sixth one is model deployment and monitoring. So we automate permissions and cluster creations to produce registered models and we enable REST API models at the endpoints. Now the last one is automated model retraining. So here we create alerts and automations to take corrective actions in case of model drift due to differences in training and inference data. Next comes what does MLOps engineers do? So basically MLOps engineers are the bridge between the world of machine learning and the world of software engineering. They are responsible for taking a machine learning models from development to deployment and ongoing maintenance ensuring they perform optimally and reliably in the production. Now let's see what are the skills that were required for MLOps engineer. So if we talk about technical skills, first they should know about the software engineering, programming languages like Python, Java, Scala and CI-CD principles and tools like Git and Jenkins, containerized technologies like Docker and Kubernetes and the knowledge of popular cloud platforms like Azure, AWS and Google Cloud Platform that is GCP. Second is the knowledge about machine learning, like the basic understanding about ML algorithms and the concepts, experience with model evaluation and performance matrices, and a familiarity with some machine learning libraries and frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. Third is the knowledge about data engineering, like we should know about data pipelines and workflow automation, 
data quality and version control systems that is git and a proper understanding about sql and no sql databases coming to the fourth one is the knowledge about devops like infrastructure management and monitoring and scripting languages like powershell or bash now in non technical skills first is communication and collaboration so this is the number one skill that we needed as a non technical skill in mlops devops engineer so here we should properly bridge the gap between data science and engineering teams by a proper communication between them we should able to explain technical concepts to non technical stakeholders second is the problem solving and analytical skills so we should debug and troubleshoot issues in mlops pipelines identify and mitigate potential biases in the models and analyze data models to improve their performance as well now let's jump on to the road map for mlops in 2024 firstly choose any programming language to initiate your mlops journey proficiency in programming language is highly advised as mlops engineer as because you will need to automate processes at a high level python go ruby are some of the popular programming languages that you can choose secondly delve into the machine learning algorithms and libraries so as a mlops engineer your day to day task will revolve around machine learning algorithms therefore it is important for you to understand the models you are working in depth familiarity with relevant libraries and frameworks is essential for success in your role next up is databases so given the data engineer's role aspect databases and their management system plays a pivotal role in an mlops engineer's responsibilities so in order for you to maintain the machine learning systems in a reliable and efficient way you need to understand databases that will help you with that moving on model deployment is the fourth step so as an mlops engineer learning to deploy models is crucial because majority companies typically use cloud platforms like aws gcp that is google cloud platform and microsoft azure for hosting their applications and hence a solid understanding of these platforms is highly recommended for an mlops engineer fifth on the list is the experiment tracking so while some professionals focus solely on achieving models deployment for mlops engineer experiment tracking is vital like managing all experiments including parameters and matrices facilitates organization result reproduction and comprehensive logging sixth emphasize metadata management metadata being a data about data aids in better understanding grouping and sorting data for various purposes proper metadata management during the workflow life cycle is crucial to avoid conflicting information build trust in the data and reduce costs seventh consider data and pipeline versioning so data versioning involves storing different versions of data created over the time and it is essentially for various reasons such as testing for model efficiency improvement or changes in information flow proper data versioning helps in business perspectives informing consumers about the availability of newer data set versions moving on to the eighth point focus on model monitoring so this stage comes after the model deployment and involves monitoring the model for degradation and data drift which ensures optimal performance ninth is to engage in projects develop an in-depth understanding of the skills required for mlops and put them into test through the projects which can later be included in your portfolios finally we are ready to ace any interview and keep in mind while preparing the goal is to thoroughly prepare and then relax and keep giving the mock interviews which can be valuable and helpful for you to overcome the fear and ensure you remember all the crucial information for the tech role okay now if we talk about who all can switch into the mlops engineer role then the answer would be software engineers data scientists devops engineers system engineers or any other individuals with having some relevant skills like statistics mathematics physics or even finance that can leverage their analytics ability and quantitative background to learn machine learning fundamentals so they can 
then combine these knowledge with proper programming skills to enter the MLOps field. So keep that in mind. So in India, companies such as IBM, Dell Technologies, EY and PNG are among the top companies that were hiring for MLOps engineer role. And if we shift our focus to the USA, top companies like Bosch, Boeing, Autodesk and NVIDIA actively seek professionals for the MLOps engineer position. Now, when comparing salaries for MLOps engineer role, in India, they receive a pay ranging from Rs 10 lakh to 20 lakhs per annum, while in USA, the average salary falls between 105 to $120,000 per annum. So that's all we have for this video. If you liked it, do share it with your fellow mates and also make sure you subscribe to our IntelliPad YouTube channel for regular updates like this. Thank you so much. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers machine learning course in collaboration with IIDM Pravartak. Through this course, you will learn various algorithms and machine learning techniques such as supervised, unsupervised learning, natural language processing and much more from the IIT Madras faculty and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given below in the description. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of machine learning.